Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and here we go again, more disrespect from the sports world, in this case, uh, for the fans. We had a number of different singers and whatnot and did the same thing. This time, it's NBA. Now, I know virtually nothing about the NBA, so you have to bear with me, but... Without any movements by state legislatures in North Carolina changed newly enacted laws targeting the LGBT community, which is a lie. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. NBA on Thursday decided to pull the 2017 All-Star Game out of Charlotte. This is gross disrespect to the fans. Our week-long schedule of all-star events and activities is intended to be a global celebration of basketball, our league, and our values for which we stand, which means you stand for perversion, and to bring together all members of the NBA community, current and former players, league team officials, business partners, and fans, league said in an early statement. The NBA is focused on New Orleans Smooth King Center and host for All-Star Weekend on February 19th. For now, there are still other cities trying to lure the All-Star Game, sources said. And here we go again. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver has, had threatened to move All-Star Weekend out of Charlotte and Unless a discriminatory, discriminatory North Carolina law aimed at states, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender community was changed, which is another lie, and time to do so ran out because of logistics and playing the NBA needs to run its marquee mid-season event, league sources say. So... Here we have Adam Silver again, who uh, stole $2 billion from an old man, if you remember. Uh, what was his name? Sterling, I guess. Stole $2 billion from an old man. And it's one of the greatest thefts, personal thefts in history. Stole his team from, and that is utterly despicable. That's a side point. But where are these teams, these teams and these performers think that they can somehow dictate to their fans what they think? Well, you know, I'd say screw them. I'd say boycott them. This is utterly ridiculous. They're deciding for their fans. You see, their fans have a right. Okay, we don't like the laws there. We're not going there. That, that should be decided on a personal, individual basis. Not by some organization and not by some singer who decides, oh, screw you, I'm not singing there. This has gotten out of hand. And of course, we don't have anybody uh, yet in office to speak out about it and say this is wrong. Well, we recognize the NBA cannot choose the law in every st city, state, and country in which we do business. We do not believe we can successfully Post our all-star fest festivities in Charlotte in the climate created by HB2, Lee said. We look forward to restarting our plans for all-star festivities in Charlotte and provided there is an appropriate resolution to this matter. In other words, we want to bully you into changing your laws. Charlotte Hornets owner Michael Jordan had been counting on all-star weekend signature event for his fr franchise and economic impact losing all-star game for the franchise and region 
promises to be dramatic. So these people are hurt. The slot hurts no one, really, because it, I forget what it is, but it doesn't do that much. It's simply, I think it just defines, you know, if you're a male, if I remember right, if you're born a male, then you're a male, you use men's bathroom. Born a female, you're female, you use women's bathroom. It's the way it should be. But these people in MBA, especially M. Silver, don't know the difference between right and wrong. This is a wicked, wicked man. Donald Sterling, that was the name of that billionaire that M. Silver and the MBA stole $2 billion from. This is a wicked, wicked man. I'm going to borrow from... Uh, radio preacher I listened to before. I'm going to say it again. Adam Silver is a wicked, wicked man. So there you have it. Gross disrespect to the fans. Let the fans decide whether they want to go there or not. You people, you people in that, who run the NBA, you are grossly disrespectful to your fans and this is proof this is gross disrespect and if NBA fans had any sense they would boycott an entire league until Adam Silver and everybody running the NBA is out and we get some people with some common sense in I'm not supposed to this is utterly absurd that we can have sports teams trying to decide the laws of certain states I'm sorry. This is wrong, wrong, wrong. Remember on the facts of Mars. Thanks for watching.